<laughs> Life is good. Life is good. That's my trouble, chief. What's good, y'all? Let's talk about Crown Jewel, baby. Where our tribal chief, the tribal chief, the undisputed universal tribal chief of the world, Sola Sokoa, penned Roman Reigns. <laughs> what started as a joke has now turned into a full-blown obsession, and um, I'm not slowing down anytime soon. Keep on glazing. <laughs> Crown Jewel was yesterday, and honestly, I like the show. I see a lot of people giving complaints about it online. We're allowed to have our opinions, that's okay. That's the point of watching professional wrestling, to feel some kind of emotion. If your emotion wasn't positive towards the show, that's all right. You're allowed to feel exactly how you want to feel. You took the time to sit down and watch the show, maybe spend money to go watch the show. If you dislike it, you can express that. And if you liked it, you can express that. If you acknowledge the Tribal Chief Soul Sokoa, then you're a real one. You can express that. So let's break down exactly what happened during this match. Solo came out and it was going to be him, Jacob, and Tama. For some reason, Loa just wasn't involved. Now I understand why. Jacob's a monster. He's a game changer, as Corey Gray said. See that MLW figure right here? Yeah, hi. Yeah! I love you, Solo! <laughs> so Roman comes out and it's him and Jimmy, but I thought they were all equal. That's what Oos said. Oos, 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 Oos. <laughs> it's 5 a.m. recording this. I'm having too much fun. Are just Roman and Jay equal and Jimmy's just a little side piece? Or are they actually all equal? I'm still confused on what that means now. Jay comes out last, which proves that he was the main event star of the show. Haha, <laughs> main event Jay Uso. And that crowd was feeling him. Saudi Arabia loved themselves from Jay Uso. Now, some of their yeets were a little off rhythm. And you know what? You tried, you were there. I hope you had a great time, everyone in Saudi. But during this match, it truly felt like Jay and Roman were actually equals, which is crazy that someone else can feel on Roman's level that isn't named Cody Rhodes. Crowd started booing Solo, holding up the Ulafala. Honestly, and I'm gonna make a video about it. The Ulafala has become a de facto world championship in WWE. Jay told Roman he wanted to start the match and Roman's like, you know what, go ahead, let it ride. I mean, who wants to get punched in the face first anyway? So I get it. But it just goes to show that Roman was willing to cooperate listening to what Jay was saying on SmackDown. So that's a good thing. Now commentary really put over Jacob during Smash, calling him a game changer, calling him a dominant force, as he is, as he will be, as he will be for a very long time in WWE. He's a future world champion. When Jacob and Jay were about to square off, it was quickly tagged out and Tama got in. It it just goes to show that eventually Jacob versus Jay should be a main event of a big Raw or SmackDown or at least a PLE match. Then Jay would eventually tag in Jimmy instead of Roman. Now that caused some tension because Roman was getting along at first. He's like, oh, you want to start the match? You got it. But Jay with those unresolved feelings, understandably, understandably, wanted to prove that he is also the one that's running this show as well by tagging in his brother instead of just tagging in Roman. I saw it as Jay testing Roman's temper, seeing how far he could push him before he would snap. Is this really the time to do that in the middle of a match? No. Who wouldn't get their get back on their bully as soon as possible? You know, it is what it is. I understand. Hey, let's take a second to acknowledge the fourth rope champion, Zilla Fatu. He just won the championship last night in Chicago at West Side Gun Show. Shout out Zilla. That was great. Corey at one point even says how Jacob is always coming forward. He's like the undead. Because regardless of how many times he was getting hit, he was still pushing forward. Again, I'm telling you, WWE knows the value of Jacob 5 too. They just don't want to put the world title on too quick because they probably don't want fan backlash. They probably want to establish him more as a character. And bro will be WWE champion. Not just world heavyweight champion. That's a secondary belt. That's about the main belt. He will be WWE champion one day. And after a lot of shenanigans and a weird ref bump, because like there was no point of the ref taking a bump because no one else got involved in the match that wasn't supposed to be in the match. Loa, who was ringside, did virtually nothing <laughs> during this match at all. Like he was kind of just an extra body present. That leads to Solo spiking Roman multiple times and then getting the pin. I generally don't know why the ref took a bump because this was a very legal match. They were just a smarter team and actually won. <laughs> Two crown jewels back to back where he pinned John Cena after multiple spikes. Now he's pinned Roman Reigns at the multiple spikes. Next year, Solo, honestly, dog, should be world heavyweight champion. Sami Zayn will come out to try to save Jay during that beatdown. Not Roman, by the way, not Roman. And he would tease joining Solo's bloodline. When he went to hug our tribal chief, Solo Sokoa, our tribal chief, Solo Sokoa, he actually hit him with an exploder suplex instead. And I was like, ooh, but that was cool. But never do that to my tribal chief again. All right? Sorry. It looked like Roman was about to get his get back by hitting a spear on Solo Sokoa, but then Solo dodged out the way. At the same time, Sami Zayn went for a Huluva kick as well. Was this some bad timing between them? Was Sami just gonna go for the kick anyway? Or did Sami have a sense that Solo would dodge out the way and he can go ahead and get his get back on Roman Reigns without it looking 
suspicious. What we can say is Sammy's definitely not going to join Bloodline 2.0 based off Solo's promo afterwards, where he seemed irritated with Sami Zayn. So I don't think that's a story of him actually joining that Bloodline. And the last thing I'll touch on, even though I know I'm the Solo Sokova guy, the promo that Solo cut after the match, that has to be his best promo ever. Solo right now, in this moment, especially after pinning Roman Reigns, actually feels like the tribal chief. Ulafala in the background, He's like, why is there one surprise to pin Roman Reigns? I was supposed to pin Roman Reigns. The confidence, the arrogance, the hilariousness that he's exuded these last couple weeks has proved that Solo Sokoa generally should be in the position that he's in. Here's a question I want you guys to answer down below. If you made it this far, thank you. Does Solo have what it takes to become a future WWE champion? Or World Heavyweight, all the same thing. Put your comments down below in the next one of these Bloodline videos that I make. I will shout out at least three of you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.